Hi folks, welcome to this edition of Success Videos. My name is John Getter, 2012 Olympic team head coach and owner of Two Stars USA Gymnastics Club in Lansing, Michigan. This video will outline in detail the compulsory conditioning program that our program has used for the last 10 to 15 years. Many have seen or heard or used our four phase phase conditioning program designed for the optional level gymnasts, but the question always comes about what do you do with your developmental or your compulsory level athletes? Well, it's finally here. After numerous requests, we finally taped and edited our complete compulsory conditioning program. Now, years of trial and error, thought and debate have gone into this program, and the content is based on some very basic concepts and considerations. Five of these objectives or considerations are One is to teach proper mechanics of the conditioning exercises. Seeking immediate results pushes some coaches in the direction of rushing the basics. Now we've all heard it a thousand times. Basics, basics, basics. Well the same concepts that, are, that eventually develop great gymnastics skills can be used to develop technically sound conditioning skills. Patience and development is key. There is no better place to start this process than with your compulsory level conditioning program. Using simplistic exercises allows for a greater focus on using proper technique. This of course will transfer to skill development later. A great compulsory program does not get attracted to the difficulty of the exercises but rather the quality of execution. This, this of course includes the technical demands, proper shapes, body posture, etc. second objective is teaching proper gymnastic shapes. We all know that gymnastics is a sport that requires transforming from one body shape to another. Sometimes this transition is merely aesthetic, while other times it's essential for creating efficient speed and power for acquiring gymnastic skills. Understanding and mastering these shapes is an important part of a conditioning program, whether it be the straight shape, arched, hollow, rounded, tucked, Piped. No matter what the shape, it can be honed in a well-rounded conditioning program. The third objective is teaching proper form and execution. We all know form and execution is a core component of a gymnastic score. There's no better place to learn how to keep great form than with your lower level compulsory conditioning program. It only stands the reason that expecting great form and execution during a performance of gymnastic skills is fruitless if the art of keeping form is not mastered on simple, basic conditioning exercises. Great compulsory conditioning programs insist and enforce the highest of expectations when it comes to the execution of those chosen elements. The related impact on gymnastic scores is almost immediate. Basically, if you can keep good form on a push-up, a leg lift, a sit up, you can keep good form during your performances. The fourth objective of a good conditioning program is to establish the concept of work ethic. Most would say that most lofty goals require an elevated commitment on the part of the athlete. Teaching this concept during a compulsory conditioning program will, will assist in building the desired attitudes in your gym necessary for success throughout their careers. In this very demanding sport, working hard reaps a great return on investment. And this is a lesson that will benefit not only the athlete, but your program itself. A gym full of tough-minded, hard-working, developing athletes has a much greater chance of success than the opposite. And then finally, the fifth objective is probably the most obvious of all. The object of a great conditioning program is getting the athlete stronger. Many have rated the sport of gymnastics as one of the most difficult on the planet. Success in this sport correlates very well with the physical abilities of the athlete. A stronger athlete has a greater potential for learning new skills. They have a greater opportunity for greater amplitude on their skills and they are often more confident and are certainly less susceptible to injury. 
The main focus of any conditioning program should be increasing the physical abilities of the athlete by enhancing speed, power, strength, active flexibility. But without a well-conceived, well-planned and administered conditioning program, success in this sport will be elusive. Now most of you are saying, duh, of course, the object of a conditioning program is to make the athlete stronger. Well, this, takes, this process takes a great understanding of the adaptation principle, a gradual increase and changing of the stimulus so as to foster continued strength gain. This program that we've laid out for you does that for you. We increase the numbers, we increase the difficulty of the exercises, and therefore we, get the, we cover that adaptation principle. We hope you enjoy this uh, conditioning program. It's obviously worked well with us, for us at the Twist Stars Gymnastics Program. We've got 125 state championship titles to back that up. Obviously the program's working well for us. Thank you for your interest in success videos and enjoy.